evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. What is Western Armenia Conference? Apricot trees at the risk of frostbite in Western Armenia. Media defense files case to ECHR over bombing of journalists in Artsakh by Azerbaijani forces. Pashinyan and Putin discuss Artsakh issue, energy issues and fight against COVID-19. A work about the Armenian community of Romania has been published. Angel of Salvation The character of Hovanes Eskijan, who saved the lives of Armenian children, was uniquely presented. Support Western Armenia TV What is Western Armenia? Seminar conference debate on written questions will be held today on March 27 and on Sunday, March 28 at 7.30 p.m. with a duration of two hours via the Zoom application. Dear observers, we will update the information about discussions and issues raised during the conference in our next issues. Apricot growers are urged to be careful and take appropriate measures to protection against possible frost in the provinces of Malatya, Harbert, Adyaman, Dersim and Bagesha, Western Armenia. According to a written statement issued by the Department of Meteorology, snowfall is expected for several days. Agriculture frosts are expected in the whole region at night and in the morning from tomorrow to Tuesday, March 13. Relevant bodies and farmers are urged to take preparatory measures. We have already spoken about climate change in Western Armenia, although in March snow is still falling in most parts of the country. UK-based media defense human rights organization has today filed a case at the European Court of Human Rights on behalf of four Armenian citizens following the bombing of the town of Martoni by Azerbaijani forces during the recent armed conflict in Artsakh. The applicants, three journalists who were injured and the brother of a journalist fixer who was killed, alleged that as a result of this attack, their rights under the European Convention on Human Rights were violated by Azerbaijan. The Freedom of Information Center informed the Armen Press. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan held a telephone conversation with Russian President Vladimir Putin. The press service of Kremlin reports the Armen Press. Discussing the situation over Nagorno-Karabakh, it was recorded with satisfaction that the regional situation has stabilized and remains calm in general. The sides exchanged views on issues of bilateral cooperation, focusing on the energy sphere and fighting against coronavirus. Read the statement. It mentioned that the phone conversation took place at the initiative of the Armenian side. Hovanes Kalpanyan's work, Romanian-Armenian Colony, was published with the blessing of the Primate of Gugarat's Diocese, Bishop Father Hovnan Hakopian and Bishop Father Hetum Tarverzian. The book is dedicated to the history of the oldest Armenian community in Eastern Europe, Romania. Prized Hetum Tarverzian informed Armen Press. He reminded that the Armenian community of Romania descends from the generations of Armenians who migrated from Ani and settled in the Moldovan lands after wandering for a long time and an Episcopal see was established in the city of Suchava in 1401, which nowadays is considered to be the most ancient diocese of the Armenian Apostolic Church. It is noteworthy that the first stone-built Armenian church in Eastern Europe named after the Mother of God was built in 1350 in Botoshan, Romania. The 800-year-old community has certainly left a great legacy. This legacy is not only the pride of the Romanian-Armenian community, but also pride of all Armenians. Yerevan State Chamber Musical Theatre presented the premiere of Angel of Salvation performance on March 24 and 25 on the eve of the 106th anniversary of the genocide against the Armenians. Aravot Daily reports, the script is based on German historian Hilmar Kaiser's documentary book at the crossroads of Derzor. In 1915, trains leaving Garlic and Aleppo stations carried the Armenians to their deaths, to the Derzor desert. However, many children survived these journeys thanks to the spiritual pastor of the evangelical church Hovanes Eskijan. Eskijan visited the stations every week, checking what time the commercial train was arriving. Getting an agreement with the Turkish military, the nobleman paid the gold for each child, thereby saving them. Eskijan secretly saved the children, but there were traitors in Aleppo and they betrayed the great Armenian. In 1916, the police planned to arrest him, but he died on the eve, on March 25 of typhus fever, getting infection from a child he had rescued. Nune Abrahamian is the author and director of the script. Samba Stepanyan plays the role of the main character. Anahit Girakosyan plays his wife Gulenia. Ara Gevorkyan plays the Turkish Pasha. While Laura Babayan plays the role of the missionary of the orphanage. Along with the cast of the theater, the play includes students of the Hayasa Theater Group. The full article is available at the following link. 
Dear followers, the state television company of Western Armenia is not engaged in self-advertising, but our content and program projects need logistical support. Millions of citizens of Western Armenia, who by fate are deprived of their fair right to live in the homeland, get a unique opportunity with our help to return to their roots, to be recognized as Armenians, to get acquainted with the national culture. Together we can do more. Now I present you Puturach Chiksevavor by Komitas. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.